Radio. Let's draw with Tina. So have you got your pencils ready? And your paper? And here we go. But today what we're going to do, we've done one in all the other programs, but today we've got two characters to draw. So are you ready? Okay. Now, first of all, you know me, we start off with a circle and a circle for the head. Okay, we'll draw this character first. Moving down, we have an egg shape for the tummy. All right. Moving down here, we have a squash circle here, rather large one. Okay. And that's that one done. That's where that character and character is going to go. Now we're going over here because it's looking down at a little one here. We have a circle for another cartoon character. Then we have a smaller tummy. Okay, and at the bottom here we have a squashed little circle here and a squashed little circle there. Now, okay, here we go. Starting up the top, um, I'm going to join these up so that you know where we're going with it. Curved line here and a curved line there. Okay, next of all we're going to put in a circle here and a little one there. Okay, moving down. We're going to have a curve line here and a curve line there, like number 11. That's that one done. Over this side, we have number 11 to join up those two circles together. All right. We have a little one over here as if it's waving. Look. And then we have one just by the side. Now, this is exciting because now you don't know, you haven't got a clue what we're going to do. Okay, so here we are, starting up the top, we have N for North, and we put it on that one as well. May as well do the two of them together, okay? Down the bottom we have the slippery slide, we have the South Pole. This one is looking straight out at us, we have the South Pole. Okay, over this side here we have the Windy West. And on this side here we have the Windy West. So now you're looking at one big one and one small one. On this side here we have the east, E for east. And this one is straight across, we have E for east. Now, the angle of this cartoon card is looking down at the little one. So starting at the north with our number ones, we're going to do a curved line all the way around to the south and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Now over here we're going to do the straight line from the north all the way down to the south pole like so. Off you go. We're going to start off here at the windy west. Bring it across here to the windy west all the way across to the east side. And down on the smaller one we're going to go straight across because this cartoon character is looking straight at you. Okay, here we go. Now, this is where it starts getting all intrigued and all um, different, right? So, we're going to put in where the two lines meet becomes the centre of our character's face. And that's where we're going to find this shape, a curved line. And it has a beak. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to put in the eyes. There's one and there's the other. Okay, then we're going to put in the pupils. There's one, watch where the pupils go and there's the other because they're looking down at the little one over there. This one, where the two lines meet, we're going to put in our eyes. There's one and there's the other one. We have a little curved line between them to give the baby beak. Have you guessed what it is? Mmm. Inside the eyes we have the pupils. There's one and there's the other. Now we're going to finish off the beak. Watch this. We're going to follow it all the way around and back up 
and stop it just there and then we're going to put in the top of the beak look there we have it not happy at all and this little guy here is doesn't know any better there's one and there's the other now I'm going to change my black felt tip pen you hold on to your pencils and here we go remembering the black felt tip pen is just for the key line of the cartoon character at the top of the head we have three like three little fingers all in a row but they're at the top of the head watch this we bring it up and over bring it down and stop it just there now you can see what little cartoon character it is and from the north we're bringing it down to the east and stop it just there okay this little guy here we give a little squiggle he hasn't quite grown anything on top yet starting at the north we're going over to the east we're going to bring it down oh sorry over to the west i'm getting you confused now and the same to the east side bring it down and stop it just there we're going to put in his little eyebrows there's one and there's the other but the eyebrows on this cartoon card i want to show that this cartoon card is, is cross you know angry so we're going to bring it in look bring them down there's one and down for the other okay now we're going to put in the pupils for the eyes look at that bring it around and back up now you can see how cross they are i wonder what's making them so cross now we're going to put in the pupils there's one and there's the other you put in the reflection of the light following where that little cartoon character is the little chick there at the end and then shade in there with your pencil there's one and there's the other okay moving down to our little guy here we're going to put in the little beak bring it over he doesn't look too uh, doesn't look as though he's done anything wrong there's his cheeks and there's one eye and the pupil and there's the other one and the pupil we're going to put in the reflection of the light there's one and there's the other and then shade in around that okay now we're going to finish off i wonder what's making her so angry at this little chick because after all it doesn't it doesn't look so he's done anything wrong i'm happy watch this we're going to open this little mouth here bring it down and up give it the bottom lip bring it down and up and stop it just there for this little cartoon character we're going to leave the, the circle we're going to give him chubby little cheeks we're going to bring it out and around and stop it just there and the same on that side bring it out and around and stop it just there okay put in two little nostrils well, one little nostril there and there now we're going up to the angry one. Oh my goodness bring it over and out bring it back up okay not happy at all look at that and then what we're going to do here is the same with the cheek on that side bring it out and around and stop it just there and the same on this side bring it over and the mouth is closed and there we have it put a little bit of feathers there look okay not forgetting the little nostril of course they have to breathe don't they yeah okay moving down here we have a curved line here and a curved line there now at the neck here as well they seem to have like um, um it's like a necklace going around the neck isn't it and then we have the wings on this side watch this out to the elbow and back in and stop it just there and there we have bring that around on the inside of the arm bring it all the around and of course one two three little feathers so you can see that the hand is on the hip okay same on this side here watch that bring it down round the tummy and stop it just there and then this side here we're going to see the little elbow and then we have one two three so she doesn't look impressed at all at all now we're going down here to the tummy and we're going to put in a little breaking up line there for like this feathers on the tummy and then we're going down to the leg here and of course on the leg as well the, the feathers come down one two three and then we're going to bring it up here right up to the back and stop it just there 
Now we have our little number 11. There's one and there's the other. And this one here, of course, we're going to put in the toes. There's one and they go to the back and back around. And there's the other one up and over. Look at that. And then we have the other one there to the front of it. Same little fringe at the end there. Curve line. Only draw what you can see and you can see only the outside of it there. Bring it up. And there we have our little um, foot on the other side. It's like they're tapping their foot. Hmm, not impressed at all. And last but not least, watch this. Of course they have their tail feathers. Okay, that's the angry one done. Now we're over here to our little chick. The curve line there and a curve line there for the neck. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the elbow, bring it around and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. And on this side here, we're going to put it the inside and then we have the little feathers. One little feather, two little feathers, three little feathers and no more. Who's that knocking? on the door. Same on the other side, except the little fe the little hand is out, as if to say, what's going on? I did a good job. One little finger, two little fingers, three little fingers, and no more. Who's that knocking? At the door. Once again, follow the tummy around and down, and we want to show the feathers on the tummy. A little squiggle there, and then we bring it around here, and of course, one little toe, two little toes, one, Two. And there he is. We don't we know that they have little tail feathers, but because they're behind, we don't have to worry about them. Because we only draw what we can see. Now our little cartoon carries, but I wonder what's he's happy enough, but I wonder what's what this one is, is so angry about. Hold on, we put in the horizon line. Look at that. And then in behind here, we put in the chicken coop. That's the roof of the chicken coop. Okay, we bring it down. We have our doorway. Okay, we have the wall. Bring that down a little bit further there, Tina. There we have it coming across. And then across that way. And chicken coops are always up on stilts. Okay, bit of grass down there. Number one, number one. Little bit of grass down there too. And then what we have here is, of course, we have the little window. There's one, two, there's the door, it's open. Because that's closed at night, isn't it? And then for the little chicks to get out, we have this. They have their little, um, it's like a little ladder, but... And look what's at the end of it, okay? There's the brush standing in the corner. And this little chick was helping to clean up the chicken coop. But what did he do? He put the dirt under the carpet. Oh, you silly little chick. No wonder we're angry with you today. And of course, at the background, the chickens have to be protected. Look at that. Only drawing what we can see. And that's the chicken wire, so you just put in a few little excess like that. You don't have to be too fussy. And then we're ready for our crayons. I'll put that the floor in there. See that? Yeah. Bring that across there. There we have it. Okay. Get our colours now. One, two, three little colours and here we go. Lots of fun. Thank goodness there's no snow. This little chick went to the market. This little chicken stayed at home to help his mummy. Look at that. Okay. Down here, the tummy. I'm just using the side of the crayon. I'm putting that all in the one colour, see that? And even the little wings there to the side. And all the time we're building up, see that? 
a little bit of shading underneath there. There we have it. Now we pick up a um, little bit of red there. Look, just put that in the back or pink. Okay, and at the top. And the amazing thing is that um, our little chick here is yellow. Colour in our little chick. He's quite easy to colour in because it's the same colour all the way down except for the little beak. We highlight that, we give it a different colour. We have a lovely, lovely yellow. Chicks are so cute when they're laid, when they've just been hatched out of their, their eggs. But he looks so he's out a few weeks now that he's helping out, keeping everything nice and tidy. All the way down, keep going. And go around in circles because you're giving texture then to it. See that? Oh, his little feet, I'll give them orange. Little orange toes, little orange toes, and a little orange beak. And the mouth is open. We put in his little tongue in there, look at that. And he's saying, what did I do wrong? I think I'm okay. I did the job. But not looking very pleased. So obviously it was explained to him beforehand um, that uh, this is what you do. But um, obviously he wasn't listening. And he ended up in a spot a little bother. Okay. Now we're going into the background here. Start at the top, put in the blue sky. All the way across, go down behind the building, see that? Same on this side. We want to give it the wire, uh, the posts, put them in brown. There's one. There's the other, and see the other one on the top? Because we're only drawing what we can see, so I didn't follow it down. Look at that. Number one there, and number one there. That's the beauty of this, is that you can change it and draw and colour in and add bits and pieces to it and, you know, so much, so much. We have the chicken coop here, give it a wood effect, it's a different colour brown. And the legs of it there, get a bit darker, because they have to be strong posts to hold the chicken coop up, put all the little chicks in it. All right, do this side here, and there we have the piece of wood that bring it all together. Now we're going for a grey, a grey, just for the, the wire. In the background and all the time you can see that the colors were building it up and on that side there okay and here now it takes a little bit of time as well when you're doing two together all right and um, I put the two of them together like that for you so that you could pick it up and then we put a little bit of greeny at the end so that boys and girls and our little chicken coop. When you're asked to do the job, you better do it right. Otherwise you'll end up having a, a, a gaze like that saying, oh, you didn't do what I asked you. Look at that. So as I say to everybody, don't be shy. Give it a try. And until the next time, bye bye.